What is up everyone, Parox here, and welcome to the first replay of 9.3. So they did nerf a lot of my uh, favorite tanks to kind of cool down with uh, after having some rough pub games in this patch like the KV-1S and the Hellcat. I mean, I would say I use the T-57 Heavy too to cool down after having some rough pub games. But, as you're going to see in this replay, the T-57 is just as ridiculously powerful now in 9.3 than it was in 9.2 and all the patches before that. So I'm playing on Hidden Village? Maybe? I think that's what the map is called. But, I'm platooned with Sharpshooter, and uh, we're both going to head up to the north-ish area. I guess you could say the, the west. I don't really like going to the city too much because I feel that if you go to the city, you can just shoot guys in the city, where if you go up here, you can shoot guys up here and guys in the city because you have lots of lines of fire down into the city. So they nerfed the T-57 Heavy's accuracy, apparently, but I mean, I it didn't look like it at all in that uh, burst of shells that I just put out. So I'm already on 1,400 damage here. And I'm noticing that there's a little bit of trouble in the uh, city. I thought those guys were going to be able to handle it until I saw the Pershing and the T-54 that were backing up those two 140s. So after this clip, I'm going to try to go help the uh, city guys. But for now, I'm going to uh, uh, unload the rest of my clip into this T-57. <laughs> and he's bouncing heat off of me. <laughs> and I penned him all of my shells. Uh, shooting AP. So, you know, that's always nice when people try to shoot heat at you and then they can't pen you. Now, this part of the replay is really where the T-57's uh, dispersion nerf um, really shows, I guess you could say, because I have some nice shots on these guys in here. Ooh, okay, critical hit. Ooh, yeah, 140. That one missed, okay. T-54, no, that one hit the house. <laughs> so... I mean, there's definitely parts where the gun really works, and then sometimes where the gun's like, nah, I don't feel like actually hitting stuff today. And stuff's looking, going, going pretty downhill right now. We only have control of probably, ooh, I would say one-third of the map, and they have two-thirds. We're about even on hit points, so that doesn't really look good for us, because now they can uh, have multiple firing lanes on our team. So since most of the guys are headed up farther the west, I decided to stick back with this Waffle and the other TDs to try and defend um, from the guys coming in the town and probably coming in the middle now. And this is a really strong position whenever your team has failed um, the city and you need to defend because one, it's pretty safe from Artie here. I mean, right here is a nice spot, uh, especially if the Artie is more in like A3, they won't be able to hit you because of this gigantic hill that's in the way. But now I'm reloaded, so let's see if I can murder the crap out of people. Our 50B just went YOLO mode and distracted their team, so I think it is a time to go out and absolutely wreck this Ferdinand. I was about to kill that Ferdinand, but their uh, T-69, superhero mode, and drove in front of their Ferdinand, absorbing one of my hits. So now I'm on 3,681 damage, and things are looking a little better. I mean, they're all in the open into the city. We have the high ground. That's always a good thing. I didn't realize there that I only had two uh, AP shells left, so it's not very good. And if these guys capped out here, oh, I would have been pretty upset. Because capping only really benefits uh, the people that are in the cap. And it's one uh, cap. Per cap point, it's one XP. Whereas, you could be a good guy and get off cap if your team is going to win. Which, it definitely looks like we're going to win now. And uh, allow for some extra XP for the rest of the guys on your team. 
So I was so tunnel visioned on the T69 and the Ferdinand back there that I didn't really notice this T34. I was probably a bad play on my part. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Unloading like a boss. There's one kill. There's two kills. <laughs> so now I'm up to 5300 damage and I'm not done yet. This game is still pretty close. Um, looking back on it now, the guys on the cap did do the right thing to get on cap to try to draw their enemies back and uh, distract their team from killing our guys more. So two seconds now and let's try to kill some things. There's one into the 140 and it looks like he's gonna drive away. Oh, it's okay, he's dead. Ooh, I missed my first shot there, but luckily um, the heat just goes right through the T69. Doesn't even matter I was shooting the tracks. Sometimes heat ammo will hit when it hits tracks. It won't penetrate. Even if you're shooting like a T1 Cunningham with that heat ammo, if it hits the tracks, it's like, nah. So now I have five more seconds to unload on this 140. Now, I'm not sure why he stopped here. Maybe he didn't want to get shot by the E75. But I would rather get shot by an E75 once than a T57 Heavy three times. So there we go, 6,647 damage that XVM kept track of. And I did hit probably two blind shots, um, maybe one on one or two on some of the guys in the city. But uh, me and Sharp are pretty much just going to fumble around to uh, try to kill the Bat Chat now. And, well, that doesn't really go well. We wanted Brothers in Arms, but that didn't really happen. Let's take a look at the after battle report. So I did manage to st uh, steal the high caliber medal. I remembered what it was called this time. Uh, that was only a first class game. I did lose 30,000 credits and with premium I only would have made a thousand. I did get quite a few of the new medals. Um, I'm not really sure what most of those are except I know the one on the very left because I get that one almost every game. It's like the fire for effect. I think it's called where you uh, at least deal your tanks HP in damage and I definitely did that in this game. As you can see I did 7,800 oh no 7,800 that'd be awesome 7,380 damage so I'd say that's a little bit more than 2250 which is the 57 heavy HP. I'm a little disappointed I only got high caliber though as I only did get four kills so at least I wasn't kill stealing. At least I know that I was doing damage to kill stuff, not really focusing on getting those kill shots and sneaking them here and there. I was just worried about doing as much damage as I possibly could, especially during the end there because I really wanted to eliminate as many tanks as possible. So anyways, if you've enjoyed, I really appreciate it. If you leave a like, subscribe, I'll see you next time.